Astronomers made an incredible discovery about 500 light years from our solar system. An Earth-like planet which occupies its star's habitable zone where temperatures are mild enough to allow liquid surface water. Obviously, such a discovery raises many questions and curiosity. Today, we'll explore this planet and see how it may look like. Before we start, make sure to subscribe to my channel and turn on notifications to never miss out on videos about celestial bodies and space exploration. The quest for Earth-like planets is a major focus of current exoplanet research. Although planets that are Earth-sized and smaller have been detected, these planets reside in orbits that are too close to their host star to allow liquid water on their surfaces. This planet, however, is different. Kepler-186f is an exoplanet, a planet beyond our solar system. Its discovery is a truly remarkable milestone in modern science history and a significant step toward finding worlds like our planet Earth. Astronomers have discovered the first Earth-sized planet orbiting a star in the habitable zone, the range of distance from a star where liquid water might pool on the surface of an orbiting planet. This discovery confirms that planets the size of Earth actually exist in the habitable zone of stars other than our Sun. Using NASA's Kepler Space Telescope, astronomers measured the very tiny dimming that occurs when a planet crosses or transits in front of its star. The transit information allowed them to calculate the planet's size and estimate its mass and density. Kepler-186f resides in the Kepler-186 system, about 500 light years from Earth. The system is also home to four companion planets, Kepler-186b, c, d and e, which are probably too close to their star and are considered too hot to have liquid water. The four innermost planets are probably tidally locked, which means that one side always faces the star. And this may apply to Kepler-186f as well. If so, one side of the planet would always be covered in darkness, whereas the other side would always be bright. Dramatic temperature differences would be a result of this phenomenon. All five planets orbit a star half the size and mass of our Sun. The star is classified as a red dwarf, a class of stars that makes up 70% of the stars in the Milky Way. This star is not only smaller, but also dimmer and cooler than our Sun. Kepler-186f is about 11% larger in radius than Earth. Although the size of Kepler-186f is known, its mass and composition are not. Previous research, however, suggests that a planet the size of Kepler-186f is likely to be rocky. A wide range of possible masses can be calculated by combining the radius with densities derived from the possible types of matter from which planets can be made. It could be a rocky terrestrial planet or a lower density ocean planet with a thick atmosphere. Kepler-186f orbits its star once every 130 days and a distance of approximately 52 million kilometers. It receives one-third the energy from its star that Earth gets from the Sun. On the surface of Kepler-186f, the brightness of its star at high noon is only as bright as our Sun appears to us about an hour before sunset. Yeah, that might be a romantic place all day long. Kepler-186f is much closer to its star than Earth is to the Sun. Therefore, it probably rotates much more slowly than Earth. Its stay could be weeks or even months long. Recent studies suggest that Kepler-186f may have seasons and a climate similar to those on Earth. This sounds lovely and almost cozy. But being in the habitable zone of a star 
doesn't mean we know this planet is habitable. The temperature on the planet is strongly dependent on what kind of atmosphere the planet has, but scientists still are unsure what the planet's atmosphere consists of, and they cannot say with certainty that Kepler-186f could support life. The planet is Earth-sized, but it might not be Earth-like. Kepler-186f is on the outer edge of the habitable zone, so it is possible that the planet's water could freeze. Furthermore, small stars such as Kepler-186 tend to be more active than larger stars such as our Sun, and liable to produce more solar flares and potentially harmful radiation. So does it mean there can't be life on Kepler-186f? Well, there are scientists who believe it may indeed sustain life. Its larger size could mean the planet has a thicker atmosphere, insulating the planet and helping keep water in liquid form on the surface, a prerequisite for life as it is known on Earth. And if the planet has lakes or oceans, it would increase the chances of life evolving there. In fact, it has many properties that resemble Earth. You may think of Kepler-186f as an Earth cousin rather than an Earth twin. It has similar characteristics, but a different parent as it orbits a cooler and dimmer star. If Kepler-186f was orbiting our Sun, it would travel within the orbit of Mercury, a planet that is not considered habitable. Because Kepler-186 is a relatively cool red dwarf star, the planet still lies within the star's habitable zone. Astronomers concluded that Kepler-186f, along with the exoplanets Kepler-442b and Kepler-62f, were likely the best candidates for being potentially habitable planets. Unfortunately, Kepler-186f is too far, and it's hard to find for current telescopes or the next generation of planned telescopes to determine its mass or whether it has an atmosphere. So we still can't tell with certainty whether or not a planet like Kepler-186f actually is habitable. However, the discovery of this exoplanet demonstrates conclusively that there are other Earth-sized planets in habitable zones. The quest for Earth-like planets and life beyond our solar system will continue, which raises an interesting question. Are we reaching out into space because deep inside us, we already know we will have to leave our home planet one day? Or is it just the human's inquisitive mind? What do you think? Let me know in the comments. Which celestial body would you like to explore next? Another exoplanet? or a moon? Please let me know in the comments. Leave me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel and turn on notifications if you enjoyed this video. Be curious and have a great day. Bye!